The smoking gun, at least for me, emerged in the course of a letter to Kermit in November of 1908. Up to this point, I have not mentioned Ethel Roosevelt, the daughter of Edith and Theodore. Unlike Alice Roosevelt Longworth, about whom Professor Stacy Cordry has written with much insight and skill, Ethel Roosevelt lacked charisma and star appeal. She was an engaging, attractive young woman who was kind of a surrogate mother for her two younger brothers, Archibald and Quentin, but she was not a glamour girl like Alice. Yet she probably had the most developed social conscience of all the Roosevelt children. In Washington as a teenager, she taught a Sunday school class for African American children at an Episcopal church near the White House. This was not something that upper class young ladies in Washington did in 1908, in the year that she was to be presented to society. That was Ethel Roosevelt, who I believe needs a good biography and uh, was a very interesting letter writer and had uh, supported civil rights into the 1960s uh, when her brother Archie was taking a very different point of view. So in November 1908, Edith sits down to write Kermit her usual Sunday letter and she referred to her daughter, her daughter's class and their other plans for the morning. Ethel has gone off to her little nigs and when she comes back, we are going to see the wife of the German ambassador and so forth. I looked at the word in that sentence many times. I turned the page up, down, you know, what could else could it be? No other context than the obvious one seemed credible. With that sentence, I concluded that I had a solid case for the proposition that Edith Roosevelt had gone beyond genteel bigotry into a kind of racism that exceeded the unfortunate prejudices of most Americans in those years. 